بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل اپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور آلویز سائنڈ ان فنکشنلٹی ان اپلیکیشنس اف اوریکل اپیکس سو اف یو سی ہیئر آن دا لیفٹ سائڈ وی آر ہیونگ دس ریممبر یوزر نیم وچ از دا ڈیفالٹ بیہیویئر اف اوریکل اپیکس اپلیکیشن But in uh, mobile apps, you have seen that uh, normally applications, you don't need to log in again and again. So it gets authenticated since you have already authorized or authenticated your device. So it, the, the first time when you will log in, the username and password will be saved in your uh, local cache or cookies. So if you see here, in this, we are having only remember username on the left side. right so password will not be saved in this case so every time you have to enter password but in pwa if this uh, always signed in settings are enabled then if you see here here it says remember me and then you have username and password so now we will uh, have a quick demo on which we will see that okay if we have already an application how we can enable this pwa in that where we have to do these settings uh, to allow the this remember me because normally you will have this remember username and i will also show you if you have existing application and if you will enable these settings will it become remember me or it will still remain user uh, remember username this one these settings so let's have a quick demo on this so if you see this um, uh, website or link always signed in uh, you can read this uh, if you want i will share this as well because here you have different options you can even this is the when you log in you use this api right so this is the setting and by default it is false so once we will enable that setting um, as as a workspace administrator then you will have this one and uh, the good thing is in oracle apex dot apex oracle dot com this is enabled for you know uh, for user testing and all those so it is not false by default it is on or true so you can test on apex dot oracle because you don't have access to uh, the manage manage instance right you don't have that access to it. it is enabled and this is the setting allow persistent auth if this is enabled this one then you will get this remember me option when you will have this pwa okay so these are the same screens remember username and remember me okay so let us uh, let me show you where it is so if you will come on the manage instance here right now let me show you how you can come there. this is internal workspace right the administrator so let me show you this one if you see here on the login screen of your oracle apps you will have this administration services just click this enter your administrator username and password and here you are so then go to manage instance security and on security the first one is allow persistent auth right this one so by default it is no while since on apex.oracle.com you don't have access to this uh, manage instance it is by default yes or true so after enabling this let me show you uh, this is my apex.oracle dot com here i don't have that access to the administration services right but still i can use pwa uh, with the remember me option so what i will do i was showing you this on my uh, another cloud account but this demo we will do on apex.oracle.com because most of the people they will have apex.oracle.com so let us try over here let us create one app so if you will create with this wizard if i will just create from here it will just create an application without asking me you want to enable pwa or you don't want to enable it so what i will so uh, i will say i will say with pwa 
and here I will click app wizard because I need these options see with PWA I have to enable this right and that's it now I will show you my login page first let us run it strange right it is not saying remember username it is saying remember me right okay uh, now another thing is if you see here i had I, have a, I forgot to share with you persistent authentication lifetime days here you have days as well so in my instance i have said 30 days right so it will remain logged in for 30 days after 30 days again i have to authenticate okay uh, if I will click with this one for 30 days, it will not ask me uh, until I will not log out from the from my uh, session. So it will continue. Okay, now let me show you the login page. This is my login page. Okay, so here I have two, two check boxes: remember and uh, persistent auth. These are two, and these are conditional if you click here and let me show you down here see here this is the authenticate uh, the, uh, the server side expression and let me click this one it also will have right persistent auth enabled and let me show you the processing login parameters persistent and this is the api and it says data type boolean and has default that means it will take from the instance okay to save or not save it is yes or no right okay now this is an application which i created with pwa enable setting that means it automatically manage or handle everything now we will create another application which will be uh, without PWA. So let me go here, create again wizard. I will use wizard just to show you. So I will say uh, that was with now no PWA. I will say no PWA. Okay, same. And this time I will not select this one. My persistent auth is enabled, right? It is yes on apex.oracle.com. Now let us see the login page. Right. Now that fourth option is not there in this because I have not enabled PWA. And it says remember username. Now, for example, you have an existing application and you want to enable PWA. And now, let me run it and show you. It will not show me, uh, give me remember me. See, there is no remember me. It is saying remember username. Now, let me enable uh, PWA on this and we'll see. Will Oracle Apex change my login page settings as well? So, this is my test over here. So progressive and here it I have to just click here nothing else to be changed over here right I'm not changing anything else so I have an enabled it installable and save save so normally when you don't see this installable option over here you will face this issue so now let me run see it is still remember username why because oracle apex is not changing this page later if you enable it right so it is only still showing me user name and here it is saying this is enabled, it is there. So, ideally, you will have to change 
Ideally, Oracle Apex should have changed this, but since Oracle Apex is not changing it, uh, now you will have to change it manually because I haven't seen over here, right? But I have enabled PWA, it is there. Enable progressive web app. All right. Okay, let us just, just want to test one more thing. Create. PWA, PWA not selected, right? I'm not selecting anything, I'm just creating it. Right, this is there, but let me see. application settings and progressive web app now this is what i want to understand from where it is taking that enable progressive web app because i have not selected it right so i don't know maybe oracle doing something in on the back end let me create one more This time with PWA2 and I'm going to select install this. Okay. Oh, submitted and cannot. Sorry. Uh, it was clipped twice. Okay. So it became installable. But this was enabled in that case as well. And now it is installable. Anyway, you can test this one. You can check it. But the functionality is the way I have explained it. Right? So just to uh, do uh, overall you have these two settings in the instance level and then you have this login page changes else it will remain same because we are going to have a session on uh, working offline in your uh, application so then you will have local saving of the data and uh, you can work without even internet connectivity so for that you need this username and password need to be saved otherwise every time you need internet service to connect to the database and get authenticated right so i hope this functionality is clear now you can uh, play with it and test how it will work for you right thank you very much and allah hafiz